on it a lot. What's this? It's... Jesus, Ade, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Kennedy. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? I like where this is going now. Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why, indeed. It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. That's very true. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. Alright, let's go. Rope dart. Rope darts are equipped with a lethal grappling knife. Press triangle above your target to assassinate. Oh, that's dope. Hold triangle above your move. To assassinate and hang them. Okay. Next page. Aim at an enemy and press triangle to drag them towards you. Then press to strike them. Okay, this is kind of complicated. Okay, once more. Come. All right, let's go there. To the beat. Let's follow him. Okay, so. If I hold rope darts, I need a, like a visual tutorial and like, oh my, what? Yo, that tripped me. Oh no, no, no. Go back, go back, go back. I got it. They're gonna, this is basically a tutorial. What are you doing? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, hold and push. Nice. Sick, I got rid of all my rope darts. Okay. Nice job wasting all your rope darts, Slick. I wasn't very smart, but... Ooh. You know what? Alright, just gonna go. Let's 
go. So many dead. So many injured. That was kind of cool. Oh, I just ran into that. Surprise, mother trucker. Alright, get on. You guys can deal with that. I'll go deal with this. Come on, Edward. You're supposed to be better than this. Whoa. Oh. Just like go kind of over here. Up, up. Move, 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 move. I gotta go up, I gotta go up, I gotta go up. There we go. Surprise, I'm back. Nice, I finally got him. You come over here, there we go. Nice, mission complete. Everything is permitted. I gotta buy more rope darts now. That's my only problem. Jan Muk Awo Yetel Apishan. And once more, you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting up, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. True. And would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. It's right. Everyone's good, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch, all the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. 
That will cost me. My targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for the Quartermaster! Right. That's our present course. Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Way anchor, a neck ball the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. All right. Looks like... We got ourselves a new quartermaster and we're back in the game. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder and to men twice. Alright, let's see what this is about. Alright, let's start this mission. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. Alright. Let's go find the diplomat. And take him out and take his clothes, his identity, and I'd be surprised. Locate him, I gotta find him first. Oh, I found him. He's over there. Stick to the roofs. There is no beauty to this city, no expression of joy, no aesthetic plan. Uh, you walk your streets like animals. My cattle with no sense of decorum. This guy's just a prick. It's all fun until someone's eye goes. Oh, oh maybe it it's all fun until someone's eye goes. Oh. Ah, praise God for imported wine. Ah, praise God for imported wine. 
Venom brings. Thanks for the outfit, buddy. Alright, so do we don't even have our blow dart. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Hi, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as governor of the Ferraro. Under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the king's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. And yet, for all my successes, his majesty has seen fit to sack me and call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fucker! Therefore, hooray! Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant priests who rule the world with sticks up their asses! Hooray! It's gonna be alone soon. Let him turn around. <sighs> How is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. Uh, you're about to be alone? Oh, I is. say, that's a smart-looking outfit, but it can't be comfortable in this heat. See. Si. Uh, but for a man of a... Any regrets, Captain Rogers? Any business left unfinished? Yes. That I paid for Nassau's restoration with my own money. Fully three-fourths of the improvements made to that bloody island, I funded by my private fortune. And if that doesn't spell out my commitment, then the king is a fool. All right, man, I need you alone for a minute. Oh, that's perfect. Come here. No, I can't. Nice. Private Tio once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. <laughs> Here at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad. Bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Hey, thank you. It's always at the end where they find out our true colors. Oh what happened? Is Captain Rogers hurt? Is it a revolt? What's happened? I gotta get out of here. How do I do it? The door's right past next to me. How? There we go. <laughs> All right, we've made it. It's done. Where now? 
Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. Alright, sweet. Governor no longer.